A bill at the state capitol right now would cut the number of hours required for cosmetology students by two-thirds. It has some in the industry really raising a red flag. Two News Oklahoma's Brody Myers talked with one woman who says that training helps keep customers safe. Shailen Moore keeps a whole host of bills in her portfolio. Each of them, if passed, would affect her industry. She owns the Artisan Institute in Skytook, which trains future beauty industry professionals. The bill getting the most attention is Senate Bill 1475. Notably, it cuts the required hours for cosmetology school down from 1500 to 500. I'm not going to be able to impart all the knowledge that's in 32 chapters of that cosmetology book. Elazar McLaughlin is on the teaching staff at Clary Sage College in Tulsa. I honestly think that you could go even further. 1500 hours doesn't seem like it's enough time because we have to cram everything in you know, that's in the industry in that amount of time. While teaching, he still occasionally cuts hair on the side. It's gratifying knowing that, hey, I help someone's self-esteem. I help them, you know, feel better about themselves. Lots of the chatter around these bills is on a Facebook page for industry pros. The only one we could find in favor of the legislation suggests health department inspections could do the trick instead of the current regulations coming from the state. After people are done here in the chair, they could get up and get a shampoo. Seems simple enough, right? Not according to the pros. Uh, you could have a client come in with a fungal infection on their scalp, and if you don't know how to spot it, guess what? I just did a client shampoo with a fungal infection and now you've come in and you would like a shampoo as well and perhaps I've washed my hands but perhaps I didn't get every bit of that fungal infection off out from underneath my nails. Not only does that client have a fungal infection but now both you and I have a fungal infection as well. The bill would shift control away from the cosmetology board to the health department. It would also eliminate exam requirements. The current training is intense but doable according to Moore and worth it. You don't have to have a 4.0 GPA. You don't have to be a genius to make $100,000 a year or more. You can do that in our industry. We reached out to Senator Bergstrom but did not hear back. Brody Myers, 2 News, Oklahoma.